This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at LFI Freak. LFI Freak is a local file inclusion exploiter tool. A local file inclusion vulnerability allows an attacker to upload a malicious file, shell, or backdoor and execute commands on the machine. LFI Freak automates the process of detection and exploitation. Then it allows the attacker to execute single command or get an interactive shell. It supports three methods, PHP input, PHP filter, and data URI. This tool is written in Python and was developed by Osanda Malith Jayathisa, who is at Osanda Malith on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. We'll take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will observe how we can exploit local file inclusion vulnerability. And we will use Dam Vulnerable Web App as a target. First, let's open the file inclusion vulnerability page of the DVWA and copy its URL. Then, run the script and paste the URL. As DVWA uses authentication for the tool to work, we need a cookie. For that, we will use Tamper Plugin. We need to run the plugin and start tampering data by clicking on Tamper Data button. Then we need to refresh the page. When we do that, the Tamper plugin will pop up a dialog box asking for permission to tamper data. We need to click on Tamper button. We have captured a cookie. Now let's copy this cookie and feed it to the script. The script will then ask us to choose one of four attack method options. We will use the automatic testing attack method. It will then ask for the type of target vulnerability. We will select the first option. We can choose the execute command option and execute a command on the remote machine. We will execute the uname command on the remote machine. We can observe the system name and information on successful command execution. We will now move forward and try to get a reverse shell. We need to choose the reverse shell option. In this case, the DVWA is running on Linux system. Hence, we have to select Linux OS option. However, we can use other tools to fingerprint the OS if it is not known. Now, copy the attacker machine's IP address and also run a netcat listener on port 4444 to handle the reverse shell. Set the attacker IP address and port in the script and press enter. We can observe a reverse connection from the remote machine to the attacker's machine. We can execute command on the remote machine using the shell. In this manner, such tools can save time and effort of a pen tester by automating the entire process. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.